Hello everybody out there in science land. This is your third grade benchmark review for your test that you'll have tomorrow on um, classifying plants and animals. Um, we are going to be doing this review together. So I would like for you to go to page 327 so that you can actually fill out this stuff. It might be very helpful to have this with you while you're doing the test that's assigned tomorrow. Remember to all also, if you have to do it alone, look at all your notes, look at your book. You can rewatch um, things on Brain Pop if you need to. Biggest thing would be to maybe have an adult look at it before you submit it. That would be a very good idea. Okay, so I'm gonna start. So a blank has a backbone. That is a vertebrate because it has a backbone. A blank does not have a backbone. That is an invertebrate. Then a blank is an arthropod because it has jointed legs. That's an insect. Okay, you can tell a fox is a blank because it has fur. That would be a mammal. All right, moving right along. On a visit to a beach, Hasna sees many sea animals. Which of the sea animals is a vertebrate? So which one has a backbone? A snee snail does not, a clam and a crab are both have exoskeletons, that means it is on the outside. The one that does have a backbone is a sea turtle. Number six, look at the illustration of a jellyfish. Which of the following features is used as evidence to classify this animal as an invertebrate? So what does it mean to be an invertebrate? You do not have a backbone, okay? Number seven, there are many different types of invertebrates. Which two invertebrates would belong in the same group? Okay, there's two things here that belong to that same arthropod um, group, and that's the beetle and the walking stick, okay? Number eight, the table below lists some of the Florida state animals. Um, our state horse is the cracker horse, the state fish is the largemouth bass, the state bird is the mockingbird, and the state insect is a zebra long wing butterfly. They're beautiful, you can see them at the University of Florida Butterfly Museum, they're beautiful. Which of the following animals is an arthropod? Okay, um, that would be the one that's an insect. That would be the zebra long wing butterfly, all right? Moving right along, second page. Number nine, okay, give me one second. Okay. Juan wants to study arthropods by making a model. Which type of animal should he model? So which one of these is an arthropod, okay? They, they usually have exoskeleton, so a skeleton on the outside, that would be the lobster, okay? Um, Cool. Number 10, the carpenter ant is one of the more common insects found in Florida homes. The diagram below shows the life cycle of a carpenter ant. So we have an egg, then a larva, then a pupa, then we have a winged female. Okay. Um, Octavio observes the diagram and says that the carpenter ant is an arthropod. What could he use as the evidence for that? Well, the body is divided into smaller parts. So you have the head Thor the abdomen, thorax, all those. So different body parts into segments. That means that it is an arthropod, okay? Over here. Zach uses a hand lens to examine the petals of a plant. What can, what can Zach conclude about the plant that produced the petals? Okay, if it has petals, because it's a flower, that means it is a flowering plant, okay? Flowers have petals. Someone, that's just the name of someone, makes a booklet about different animals. The picture shows the animals she describes in her booklet. She has a penguin, alligator, trout, newt, seal, dog. Which two of these animals are the same type of vertebrate? Same type, okay? The dog and the seal, because these two are mammals, okay? That's why they're the same type so even though uh, all these um the majority of these things are vertebrates it mean the same type that they are mammals the dog and the seal okay moving right along we're on page 329 going on to problem 13 or question 13 rather dylan has a pet toad like the one in the picture he reads a book to learn more about it he finds out that adult toads use lungs to breathe 
which of these animals breathes in a way that is different from the way an adult toad breathes, okay? Which one of all of these is different? That would be a parrotfish because they don't have lungs, they breathe through their gills, okay? 14, Nori is making a model of an insect. What will she need to include in the model to make it correct? Um, if, it's a, if it's an insect. An insect has six legs, okay? 15, Jamal hikes in the woods. He finds a pine cone on the hiking trail. What can Jamal conclude about the type of plant that produced the cone, okay? That means it is a non-flowering plant because it reproduces with cones. 16, Marty knows that two plants listed in the table below produce spores. Which of the following two plants produce spores? That would be ferns. One second, sorry. That would be ferns and mosses. Ferns and mosses reproduce with spores. So two and four, okay? Flowering plants reproduce with flowers, of course, and the seeds in there, and the cone-bearing plants with the cones. 17. Sanjoy reads a book about desert animals. He thinks the most interesting animal is a mountain lion. Which other animal described in the book is the same type of vertebrate as a mountain lion? Okay, that would be the kangaroo rat because they're both mammals, okay? They're not insects like the monarch butterfly. They're not a long-eared owl, which is a bird. It's not a spiny lizard, which is a reptile. The kangaroo rat is the other one that is a mammal. 18. Emi sorts, or Emi, I don't know how to pronounce that, sorts plants into groups. <clears throat> the table below shows how she groups the plants. Group one has a sequoia, a maple tree, and a lily. Group two has a moss and a Boston fern. What could be the correct title for group one? A sequoia, a maple tree, and a lily. All those are seed producing plants plants it's not even though these you might think oh it's not flowering no they they have flowers they're flowering plants a spore producing that would be the moss of the boston fern so it's seed producing plants whether they do it in a flower or in a cone that's where that would be now we're going to talk about these questions now i'm not going to write a lot out in here i'm just going to talk about it so you might want to listen in here we go all right so Ulrich wants to classify the plants shown below based on their leaves. Make a claim about which plant does not belong in this group and cite evidence to support your claim and explain your reasoning. Well, I see flowers on this one. I see flowers on this one. I see flowers on that one. But in here, I don't see flowers. I see cones. So therefore, plant two does not belong in the group because it has cones, not a flower. So it's not a flowering plant. It's a conifer plant. Okay, that's why two is the one that does not belong. All right, number 20. Silvio has a conifer and an apple tree in his front yard. Silvio says that the two plants are classified in two different plant groups. What is the main difference between the groups the conifer and apple tree belongs to? Well, the conifer belongs to a group that produces seeds inside cones, but the apple tree belongs to a group that produces seeds from flowers. So one is a flowering plant, that's the apple tree, and the one is a conifer plant, the, um, that's the conifer tree that he has. It reproduces with cones. Last question would be 21, okay? It says, Corrine has a tree house uh, in her backyard. When she plays there, she sees many small animals. She sees squirrel, squirrels, bluebirds, flies, inchworms, and spiders. Which of the animals there uh, that she has seen are vertebrates and which ones are invertebrates? And give reasons for your answers. Well, the squares and the bluebirds are vertebrates because they have a backbone, but the flies, the inchworms, and the spiders are invertebrates because they do not half backbones, so that is the difference. Um, it would be very helpful for you to have these pages with you during test time. Remember that you have access to the book that you have with you, so you can look up answers there. Take your time, do not rush through it. I can actually tell how much time you take in questions, so I want to see that you took um, your time doing these, because um, I cannot give you an opportunity to do the test again. I, with homework, you know, for math, I tend to give you more, another chance, but for test, this is the one chance you get. So I want you to be careful and maybe have an adult check over your answers before you submit them, okay? Take your time. This is not due till Sunday. Alrighty, thank you so much. The test will be posted tomorrow. See ya.